Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching The Last of Us. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching episode six of The Last of Us, um, or as I call it, pain. This is what, every week, this is what we get. Pain. Every week it hurts and 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 some more subtle than others you know um i i wouldn't say that brian was um devastating in the sense that we got to know him and then lost him but it was so painful to watch him die you know uh getting to know tess and then losing her the way that we did painful um obviously sarah that's that that one's gonna hurt every time no matter what um, but then, you know, like meeting Bill and Frank and like they're so great and they had such a long lifespan together uh, in this world of the Cordycep apocalypse. And and then, of course, they die together, which I think was actually beautiful for their story. Um, but then Henry and Sam, like just I was like, maybe we'll just lose one. Silly me. I forgot what show I was watching. Um, and it's really interesting that I said that it would be... Um, horrible to be deaf in this world and then it ended up being that 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 sam was deaf now i get henry doing anything and everything he could to save his brother whether it was an illness or or trying to get him out of the city um but it seems like being a contributor is just the worst possible thing that you can do especially with that particular qz um it sounds like they were absolutely awful and the people that were there were, were pretty much just tortured and, and treated horribly for 20 years. Um, so I get Kathleen's uh, kind of bloodlust for revenge. You know, she, she really wanted to make sure that Henry paid for what he did. But in that, she then dooms Kansas City because if she doesn't go after Henry and Sam, then they never run into that house. That sinkhole never opens and all of those infected never come out. And now they're probably running all over Kansas City. And that was a terrifying scene. That was a 28 days later kind of vibe where it was just like, they're faster than they probably should be. They're ravaged. So they're just going to go after anything and everything that's moving. And then the bloater, dear God, the bloater. That was horrifying and awesome. I loved it. <laughs> I want more of it. Or do I? I don't know. There's some people who are like, mm, mm, we're only halfway through the season. So hold on to your butts. But I will say visually, that was probably one of the coolest moments is like you could hear it before you saw it. And then when it happened, it was a shock. Uh, it was glorious. It was glorious. I'm going to say that Ellie has probably suffered um, a lot of trauma in the past couple days, weeks, however long she's been with Joel. But I think, one, her cutting her hand and trying to use that to help Sam, like she really wanted to believe that she had magic blood and that like it, her blood was medicine and that it was going to help him. And seeing him turn, you know, and him attacking her, like, you know, we know she can defend herself. Like she's a tough girl. Um, but I think like she was just like so like distraught and, and horrified that Sam still changed and and, and that he was trying to kill her that, you know, like it, it, she almost didn't know what to do. And then witnessing Henry kill himself in front of her, you know, like she's seen people get beat and she's seen people get killed, but she like, she didn't witness Brian, thankfully, but then, you know, like watching Sam get shot by his own brother and then Henry not being able to really, you know, mentally handle that and, and watching somebody take their own life. Um, she's going to get hard quick to this world. And I was already worried about her because of like how much she was like really wanting a gun. Um, and it, it was never like, I want a gun to protect myself. It was like, I want a gun. 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 And it's just like, say why to protect yourself. Like, like the, the, just a full thought would have changed the entire sentence of her saying that. Now, her writing, I'm sorry, on Sam's thing, I think that that was really because she thought maybe she could save him. And, you know, I'm glad he didn't die alone, or not necessarily die alone, but he didn't change alone. Like, like she was there with him throughout the night. Um, but it's also sad. You know, like, I, I I, think she wants to think that she's going to save people with her blood. And the fact that that didn't work, 
is devastating to her. Now, I mean, obviously you have to formulate it and you have to create something with variants inside of blood. Like you can't just drip it on somebody and be like, you're healed. Um, but uh, I, I, I think she needed to believe that she was important and that all of this was worth it. Um, you did see a little bit of like uh, a change in character for Joel a little bit when he's talking to Henry because Henry kind of realizes that Joel used to be a dad even if Ellie isn't his daughter. Um, and like they're very quick to be like, he's not my dad, she's not my daughter. Um, but I feel like he needs to start thinking of her in that way just a little bit. Like, like it's not just protecting her because of what she has inside of her body, but because he actually cares and that she needs somebody to care about her. Not just for, you know, what she can do, but because she's a person and like, you know, they, like they have this great camaraderie now where like she tells jokes and like, like, you know, she can, she can kid with him a little bit and like they're, they're getting to know each other, you know, and like there's a, there's a relationship that's building there. Um, but what I would hate and I would be devastated is if either one lost either one. Um, I don't think that's going to happen, but like, you know, nothing that I think... I was like, oh, Sam will at least make it. Henry might die. Oh, no, both. Both. Yeah. <sighs> Don't get attached. So I'm not going to get attached. <laughs> but we are moving on. We have to find Tommy. We have to go to Idaho or Wyoming. Wyoming, not Idaho. <laughs> Same general areas. They run into each other, I think. Um, but we have to go to Wyoming to find Tommy. And then Wes to find the fireflies that uh, supposedly can take Ellie's blood and make a medicine with it. At least I hope that's the case. Mm -hmm. I don't think it'll be that easy. I think we're going to run into uh, a lot more horrible people on the road. Um, I feel like Kathleen's group was just like, like people that had just been freed from tyranny. Um, so uh, the, the next group might be people that have been free for a long time and they have a very different way of life. Yikes. <laughs> okay, guys. With that being said, I'm really excited to get into this episode. Um, I feel like uh, I feel like we're going to see a difference in Ellie now. Probably a more hardened Ellie. She's been very lighthearted with the joke book and everything, but I, I feel like uh, I feel like she's changed. I hope Joel changes. I hope they change both for the better, but uh, I, I feel like this world turns you into a jerk. It probably does. Okay, guys. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna see this again. Do we need to? Give me the gun, Henry. I don't I don't need to see this again. I don't need to see this again. Henry, no! That'll give you nightmares. Oh, winter time. Three months. Well, it's good that they survived the past three months without heavy incident. Is it Joel? Nope. Uh-oh. And the gun. Who the hell are you? Just someone passing through. Why did you shoot him? The gun's all the way over there. He didn't hurt me, by the way. Yeah, I got eyes. <laughs> Can I come down? No. Ellie. Oh, Ellie. Oh, what did I just say? Joel, come on, there's like a thousand. Who's this little <laughs> psycho? <laughs> right? <laughs> she is a little psycho. I like her like that, though. We're somewhere here. Exactly where. And your answer better be the same as your wife's. Ooh. Did you tell him the truth? Yeah. Are you telling me the truth? Yeah. Do they have a code? <laughs> well, you found a great place to hide, I guess. Came here before you were born, Sonny. Get the hell away from everybody. I didn't want to. <laughs> I really like her. <laughs> So you haven't heard the name Tommy? Nope. What about the fireflies? We get those in the summer. Not the bugs, the people. <laughs> there are firefly people? <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy her a lot. You got any advice on the best way west? Yeah, go east. But you never go past the river here, ever. Why? What's past the river? Death. We never seen who's out there. But we see the bodies they leave behind. Oh. You're not going to scare us. You scared him? Yeah, it did. You don't seriously believe them. They've lived here a long time. <laughs> I'll take one of those. 
Oh, you okay, buddy? Joel? Shut up. Holy shit, are you dying? Anxiety? Just the cold air. All of a sudden. It's called a panic attack. So let's go and find Tommy and, and the fireflies. It's gonna be easy. <laughs> All we have to do is cross the river of death. <laughs> That's it? Cool. At least the views are pretty. On your way to the river of death. The river of death. Scary. <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> no, start. I like it. Should have stolen two rabbits. We can get our own rabbits. You gonna teach me how? He hasn't taught her how to hunt? It's been three months. The hell else do you do with your spare time? Why work on survival when you're trying to survive, right? Ah. Can I have some? No. What? Just to warm up? Come on. <laughs> it's not a true campfire if you don't have a little thing to get the nip, right? Yep. So gross. <laughs> Let's say we find the fireflies, it all works. They draw my blood and put it through some of their fancy machines and make a cure. Yeah. Okay. Then what? You live on. You can do anything you want. Where are you going? What are you doing? I like the hypotheticals. Maybe an old farmhouse, some land, a ranch. Cool. What kind? Sheep. I would raise sheep boring they're quiet <laughs> do what they're told yeah yeah okay <laughs> passive aggressive and what about you where are you gonna go probably because i grew up in the qz i don't know else to look but up i read everything i could in the school library like neil armstrong buzz aldrin jim lovell but you know who my favorite is who sally ride sally fucking ride at a girl i tried with sam I knew he was infected. But I rubbed some of my blood into his bite. I know, I know it was stupid, but I've... She had to try. I wanted to save him. Marlene, she's a lot of things, but she's no fool. If she says they can do it, they can do it. Fingers crossed. You want to take first watch or second? I'll do both. Get some sleep. You nearly had a heart attack. You need to rest. Dream of sheep ranches on the moon. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> I think that is so heartbreaking that she dreams about going to space. Probably something that will never be plausible. No one will ever go to space again, probably, in this world. I woke up early. You were passed out, so I took second watch. You gotta wake me up if that happens. Mm -mm. You can't do things like this. But I can. Because I just did. I'm responsible for you, okay? Then don't fall asleep. I was quiet, I checked my six, I looked for tracks, I found the high ground, and I kept watch. Like you taught me to. Mm hmm? And both of her ears work. Oh, so pretty. Somebody who lives in the desert, I love this. Visually, not in real life. <laughs> the river of death. Still no people. Yet. You should teach me how to hunt. Oh. That's valid. She's a girl, she can't handle it. Can handle the shooting. Not so sure about the dressing. That's the problem for me. Why do they call it dressing? It's like, you should call it undressing. Because it is, it's like undressing from the inside. Uh, I really enjoy Ellie when she talks. So that made electricity? Yeah. Don't ask me, I don't have a clue. <laughs> you know, you could have just made something up. I would have believed you. No, you wouldn't have. <laughs> hey, Joel, what if this is the river of death? Uh oh. Oh no. Get behind me. What if Tommy's part of this group? You've been near infected? There's no infected out here. The hell there ain't. Oh, Last God. chance for a bullet. If you're infected, he will smell it and he will rip you up. Can the dog tell that she's been bitten? Like I said, we'll just move on. Now her. Damn it. Please have like rabbit on you or something. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> 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 
Just looking for my brother. It's all, nothing more. What's her name? Does she know Tommy? Joel. Oh. Not a QZ, but probably just a fortress. <laughs> Very Walking Dead. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Tommy! <laughs> I'm happy he's alive. <laughs> 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 what do you think he's doing there? Save you. <laughs> okay, girl, he's not gonna forget about you. Didn't expect a Tommy reunion so soon. There's more if you need it. <laughs> they do. It's been a while since we've had a proper meal. Actually, I don't think I've ever had a proper meal. This is fucking amazing. <laughs> Sorry. Ellie, let's mind our manners. You're in the Wild West, it's fine. What? What's wrong with you? What about her manners? Kids around here don't usually look or talk like you. Right. Well, maybe I'll teach them. Whoa, Jesus. We're grateful for your hospitality and all, but it'd be nice to have a moment here maybe just for family. Well, uh... Oh, oh. Maria is family, actually. Mm. Oh, shit. Congrats. Yeah. Joel, say congrats. Mind your manners, Joel. How do you keep this place quiet? Carefully. Being in the middle of nowhere helps. Not advertising what we have, saying off the radio. Mm. You draw power from a dam. Got that working a couple years ago. After that, sewage, plumbing, water heaters, lights. This place actually fucking works. Hmm. Oh, look, Joel. Sheep. Hey, Joel, check it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone pitches in. We rotate patrols, food prep, repairs, hunting. Greenhouses, livestock. I like it. All shared. Collective ownership. What are the dark secrets, so, though? Uh, communism. Nah, nah, I didn't like that. It is that, literally. This is the commune. We're communists. <laughs> Doesn't seem like you age much. You, on the other hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rode hard, put away wet. Thanks for still giving a shit about me. Aww. So how's Tess? She's fine. All right. Good, then. And the kid? She's the daughter of some firefly muckety muck. Joel, why are you lying? So you know where they might be, these fireflies? Uh, they got a base down at the University of Eastern Colorado. A week's ride south. It'll be easy for us, seeing as how you can headshot infected from half a mile away, which is a bunch of bullshit, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I can't go. Oh, come on. <laughs> what, because your wife won't let you? Joel. She the one who kept you off the radio? Is that why you stopped messaging me back? After I ditched the fireflies, Marie and her crew found me. They're good people. You might be in love, too. If you knew the shit that I've been through, Tommy, trying to find you these last few months. I'm gonna be a father. Marie is a few months along now, so I just gotta be more careful. Yeah, you know what that's like, Joel. To be honest, I'm scared to death. I would not be having a baby in this world. But I don't know. I, I feel like I'd be a good dad. I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out. That's yeah. all you got? What else am I supposed to say? Congratulations. Just because life stopped for you doesn't mean it has to stop for me. Yep. Go grab some supplies and be out of your hair in the morning. Wow. We can't have nothing nice on this show, can we? Joel, maybe it's not anxiety. Maybe it's an actual heart attack. Oh, super convenient. Oh, yeah. Gross. A little bit, but still awesome at the same time. Oh, she's going to ask who Sarah is. Did you get the thing I left you? Yeah. Weirdest gift ever. But useful. Very useful. Who's been cutting your hair? Uh, world-class salons. <laughs> Let me get my scissors. Oh, whoa, no. I'll... Trim. 
That's all. Just the ends. I promise. I always like doing hair, though. Maybe it was a mom thing. You were looking at the little memorial Tommy made? Kevin was her son. I'm, I'm sorry about your kids. And kid, just Kevin. Sarah was Joel's daughter. She didn't know. Yep. Be careful who you put your faith in. The only people who can betray us are the ones we trust. Fair. I know you're happy for me. It's just, it's complicated for you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. This ride to the university, is it a suicide mission? Well, it's dangerous, but it's nothing you can't handle. Just prepare and do what you do. She's immune. And what? She got infected, but she didn't get sick. I saw her get bit myself. That was months ago. Months. She's immune. Tell me about Tess. You know, she saved my life there. From another kid. Five years ago, I would have destroyed him. But she had to shoot him to save me. Because I was too slow and too fucking deaf to hear him coming. And today I thought that dog was going to tear her apart because it smelled something on her. And all I did was stand there. I couldn't move. I couldn't think of anything to say. I just, I was so afraid. And I have dreams. I just know that when I wake up, I've lost something. I'm failing in my sleep. It's all I've ever done. It's failure. You want me to take her? I'm just going to get her killed. I know it. You're younger than me. You're still strong. You said it yourself. You'll come back. And you can't tell anyone. Not even Maria. Tommy, you're the only one I trust. If anyone else sees those bites on her, they'll shoot her. He's gonna fucking die. I came here to talk to you. No way. You're still here. If you're gonna ditch me, ditch me. What exactly did you hear? I have to leave her, you have to take her. He knows the area better than I do. Do you give a shit about me or not? Of course I do. Then what are you so afraid of? Don't say her name. I'm not her, you know. Maria told me about Sarah and- No. <laughs> Don't say another word. I'm sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. Everybody I have cared for has either died or left me. Everybody fucking except for you. So don't tell me that I'd be safe with somebody else because the truth is I would just be more scared. You're right. You're not my daughter. Mm. I'm not sure as hell ain't your dad. <laughs> now come down. We're going our separate ways. <laughs> not okay. <laughs> you fucking dick. Come in. She was hoping Joel would be there. You came here to say goodbye or something? No. I came here to steal one of these horses and go. That was 30 minutes ago, and I guess you deserve a choice. I still think you'd be better off with Tommy. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> General direction. It's southeast to hit I-25. It's right off the interstate. Should be hard to miss. I'm so glad Tommy's not going. <laughs> I hope that's not for forever. Can I borrow that? Yeah. Because Maria took mine, you know. I already said yes, Joel. <laughs> Adios, big brother. Tommy's a good brother. He was going to take her. Like, that's just amazing. He hasn't seen his brother in how long and was going to take her. Jesus. I mean, you can't waste all the ammo on right. practice. You're flinching. The target's too small. I made it bigger than I should have. Flinching. Mm -hmm. Rifle just sucks. Okay, give it. <laughs> you squeeze the trigger like you love it. Mm. Gentle. Steady. Mm. Nice and slow. You're going to shoot this thing or get it pregnant? It isn't gonna work. It doesn't aim right. You dick. <laughs> you can see that Pedro Pascal did not want to just laugh right there. He was trying so hard. That's a beautiful shot. So the way they ran stuff in Jackson, was that how things used to be? Back then, there were basically two main ways of looking at things. Some people wanted to own everything. Mm -hmm. And some people didn't want anyone to own anything at all. Mm 
Which one were you? Neither, I just did my job. Was building? That's right. Houses, stores, that kind of thing. We were called contractors. It's a contractor. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, we were cool. Everybody loved contractors. Nice. <laughs> That smile. Oh, it's a happy moment. Everything's gonna go to shit soon. If you make it to 10 yards, then you're back to first now? Yep. So Explaining football will never come in handy. Made it in five days. Easy days. I don't know what Tommy was so afraid of. Still time to find out. Yeah. Still time to find out. The so I've been thinking, I don't want a sheep ranch, actually. I mean, if the deal is I can do anything. That's the deal. Yeah. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. Why is that funny? <laughs> you got to sing something now. No. Yeah, no, you do. I want to save the fucking world, man. That's the least you can do for me. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Are those monkeys? Must be from the oh. labs. First time seeing a monkey. First time seeing a monkey. And out in the wild? I guess it's not the wild. Firefly. Here we go. This could either be good or really fucking bad. Especially if the monkeys are running loose. Like, there's probably something that happened and they got free. There's a packing list. Something you make before moving. They just left. Mm -hmm. mm. Monkey? You better hope that it was just monkeys in the lab. It could be like a wild rhinoceros or something. Or a bighorn. And we haven't seen any infected lately, so... Possibility. <laughs> Maybe in all that research they turned into fucking monkeys. People walk around with mushroom heads, why not? That's where they went. All the pins lead there. Maybe getting ahead of the weather. St. Mary's? Oh, they're gonna see the horse. Jump! Ah. Oh god, Ellie, Ellie, Ellie! Oh! 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 Mm. Oh! Don't pull it out! No! 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 You bleed out! You bleed out! Don't pull it out! Don't pull it out! Oh God! Go! Give him the horse. Huh? <sighs> well, now he's gonna bleed out. Let's Give look at Joel. Joel? Yeah. Joel, no, no, Ellie. No, no. Shit. Joel, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Joel, you gotta get up. I can't fucking do this without you. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. What the fuck I'm gonna do. Joel. Please. Joel, please. They're not gonna kill Joel off, right? I hope he never lets me down again. Are they gonna kill off Joel? Um... They wouldn't kill off Joel, right? I don't know how you survive a stomach wound like that without help. And um, considering he just killed a guy, I don't think that they're going to help him. I was really worried about Tommy getting killed because Tommy was going to go. Okay, so I can concentrate on that, even though I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I'm, I'm, either way, what a, 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 there was beautiful moments to this episode. There really was. The, the moments between Joel and Ellie, not only when they are fighting and when they are being absolutely cruel, well, mostly Joel, but, you know, also 
when Joel and and Tommy when they reunite and when they fight and when they have like kind of their their little come to Jesus meeting you know and then Ellie like choosing Joel like no hesitation just like I want you to take me I'm so devastated right now, and I don't even know what to be devastated about. I don't even know what the truth is. I don't know if Joel's actually dead or not. I feel like that was such an unceremonious way to get rid of a, a main character. I mean, considering the the acting from Pedro in this episode, just when he is talking to Tommy, and even when he, like, even when he is being a complete dick to Ellie, walks away, and then he's thinking about Sarah. Just the differences that Pedro's, the, the nuance that he has just in his facial expressions. You know, I'm really warming up to Ellie in the sense that, like, she makes me laugh. She has this levity in this very heavy world, and I know she needs to feel that, like, she is important and, and that she has a job to do and that, that, like, she has something, a greater purpose. Um, but her dreaming about, like, going to the moon, I just, her reading about astronauts and having a favorite astronaut, Sally Ride, I mean, yeah, I think most girls, their favorite astronaut is Sally Ride. <laughs> But her having that ability to dream and like think of a future where this doesn't exist, even if, you know, it's in the, the scenario of if you could do anything that you wanted to do, what would it be? You know, that like she still has that dream. And I mean, I don't think anyone in this world is ever going to go to space or the moon ever again. Um, but I do think that um, she still has that childlike wonder, which is nice. But she's had to, like, grow up, like, really quickly. Now, Jackson, I want to assume that that's, like, Jackson Hole, but, uh, the Jackson, that whole town, like, that was, like, something, like, just amazingly Wild West, yet, uh, civilized. Um, a communist... <laughs> a, a communist commune. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm happy for Tommy that he found love and that they are, are, are having a baby. I don't think it's the best world to have a baby in, but you know what? If they feel safe enough bringing a baby into that community, that's great. Um, but it's, it's really sad that that's the first time that Ellie ever heard about Sarah. And I get that Joel doesn't want to talk about her, but I also wonder if, if Tess even knew. I wonder if, if, you know, Bill and Frank knew about Sarah. I, I highly doubt it. I don't, I don't, I don't think for a second that Joel is like being like, so I had a daughter. But if Tess knew that maybe she told them. I wanted to hear Joel sing. I guess I'm not going to get to hear Joel sing. I don't know if he's dead. And I, again, I'm the person that's like, until it's confirmed, like, I don't believe it to be true. Oh, it sucks. That sucks so bad. And it's really nice to know that even though um, Ellie has been bitten and infected now twice, that um, the dog couldn't tell. Um, I don't know if the little test that they do can. It's nice at least that the uh, dog was fooled. Or maybe there isn't a trace of it on her. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how that works. Um, but unfortunately, reaching the the college, like, they, they, there's no one there except monkeys, um, and it's been abandoned, and they actually need to go to Salt Lake City. Now, if she is without Joel, at least she knows where to go, but I don't know if she knows how to get there. I know there's a second game, I just don't know if Joel is in it. They wouldn't just kill Joel off, right? Because I stared it off into space for, like, a solid 15 seconds there. Like, I'm just kind of mystified, like... Is, nobody on this show is safe, apparently, except for Ellie, and who even knows if she's safe, right? Like, they might get all the way to where they need to be, and a bloater attacks and rips her head off, and then it's like, well, no medicine for us. I have no idea. This show is so twisted in that way. You know, like, just the, the, you are not my daughter, and I am not your father line broke my heart for her, and it's not even that she wants a father. She just doesn't need to be told what she's not. She really doesn't. She doesn't need that. And everyone that has left her or has died, 
you know, like, like Joel abandoning her after she's instilled so much trust and like there's a bond there for her. And maybe she doesn't think of him as a father, but she definitely thinks of him as the person that needs to, to take her to places or to be there with her. You know, like, like that's essentially her best friend. That's her older brother. That's grandpappy. However you want to look at it, that's, that's her person. And I know Joel wanted what was best for her. I don't think that he necessarily wanted to ditch her because he wanted to be done with her, but I think he was afraid that he wasn't going to be able to do the job anymore and, and that Tommy probably would have been the better option. I think had Tommy been in this situation, none of this would have happened, really. I mean, quite frankly, um, I think he would have known when he got there that something wasn't right and probably have left. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it was Joel. And I don't know if Joel's dead. <laughs> he's not even a good guy. <laughs> it's just, he's the person that we've gotten to know over the course of six episodes. You know, so he's he's like, even though he is a killer and a horrible person and, 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 and broken and, you know, there's not that much that's great about him, I still care. <laughs> And I can't believe he hasn't been teaching Ellie how to hunt. Like, like in a world where survival is key, you're not going to teach her how to hunt? You're not going to teach her how to dress animals? Like, I don't want to, but if I have to to survive, I'm going to learn it. <laughs> I'm going to have to just do it. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I guess uh, there's a little bit of innocence that you want young people to keep as, as often as you can allow them to and, 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 and make sure that that happens. I get it. I understand it. He also sometimes, even though he doesn't think of her as a daughter, I think he would think of her uh, in the sense of, I wouldn't want Sarah to be doing this. I wouldn't want Sarah to have a gun or have the need for a gun. I wouldn't want Sarah to have to hunt and, and skin and, and dress an animal for survival. So I kind of get it at the same time. But uh, I, I can't believe for three months they, 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 they never said like, you know what? Today's a hunting lesson. Anyway. So if you guys want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon. And uh, full-length reactions to other shows that I'm watching. Currently, I am watching The Expanse, Severance, which has been phenomenal. Uh, I am uh, just finished Vox Machina. I'm also watching The Bad Batch. Uh, in a couple weeks, we will have Pedro Pascal everything. We'll have The Last of Us. We'll have The Mandalorian. And I might even do a damn movie just for funsies because Pedro is Pedro and Pedro is everything. <laughs> but in the meantime, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I don't want to ask you guys if Joel dies in the game, so don't say that in the comments. Um, but uh, uh, for some reason, I'm thinking like when they're having their like little hunting practice thing and they have like the little thing up there, it says asshole. Was that in the game? I feel like that was in the game. Um, is this what happens with, with Joel and Tommy in the game? Like, like, does Tommy have a wife? Is he starting a family? Like, like, is it like this little paradise where they go to movies and they have electricity? Like, like, does, is this a portion of the game? I'm sure it is. Is it like that though? Like when they opened up the gates, was that like a scene from the game? I hope so. It makes me feel happy. <laughs> Fleetingly. <laughs> Bleedingly happy. That's the, the best way to describe most of these episodes, where every time I smile, I know something bad's going to happen. Equal to or greater than. Okay, guys. I'll see you here next week, where we won't know whether or not Joel is alive or dead. At least us that have never played the game. All right, guys. I'll see ya.